Hey, Mega Maniacs, this is Mr. Mega Man Fan, and tonight I'm testing a Gravis Eliminator Rumble. I picked this up for only $5 at a half price book, so I figured I've got nothing to lose, especially since it comes with a USB connection, so there might be a chance this actually works, even though this thing is incredibly old. I mean, look at these specs Windows 98 OS 9. Yeah, this thing is probably about 20 years old at this point, but again, still sealed in the box, and it has a USB connector, so what the heck, let's give it a shot. And out of the box, it looks all right. Nothing is falling apart. The D-pad is a little bit weird. It's kind of like that Sega Master System one, but not unusable. The analog sticks feel okay. We got four trigger buttons on the top, and the grips aren't terrible. A little reminiscent of a PlayStation controller, which is probably what they're going for with those dual analog sticks anyway, so I could see myself playing games with this. That is, if it actually works, which is what we're going to find out in just a moment, but let me finish unboxing this. We've got a quick start manual courtesy of Gravis. All the pages are there. whoop de doo And what else do we have inside of this box? A CD-ROM. Another indication of just how old this controller is. The fact they actually packaged a CD with it. The Gravis Experience. Woo! Version 4.4. .4. And the crowd goes mild. So... I think that's everything in the package. So, hopefully, these specs do not mean it won't work, but there's no way of telling until I plug it in and try it. So, here we go. I've got OpenEMU up and running, and I've got the controller in the USB port. And let's go into the preferences, just like I did with the Sega Genesis from Retrobit and try to map it. Let's see, which controller scheme do I want to map it to? Let's try Super Nintendo. Let's see what that does. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. Player one, up, nothing, nothing happening. Down, left, no. It's not registering the inputs. Uh, maybe I need to actually select the controller here. Let's take a look. Let's, uh, oh, there it is, Eliminator. Try it again. Up. No, nothing. Add a Wiimote. Uh, I've never actually tried doing that, but that doesn't help us here. Maybe I should try adding a Wiimote sometime. Uh... No, it does not seem to be registering any of the inputs, no matter what I do. This makes me think this may just be too old, but let me try another controller scheme just to see what we can get here. Since I referenced PlayStation, let's try that. Okay, got the Eliminator selected. Up, does nothing. No, we're not getting any register of the input on that. Down, nothing left, nothing right, nothing. Well, this may be $5 down the tubes. I mean, it was cool to unbox a 20-year-old controller, but it doesn't appear that I'm going to be able to do much with it compared to the retro bit. At least that one worked with my Sega Genesis, so it was worth the $15 more I spent on that. Uh, let's uh, see what's on this CD-ROM here. Maybe I can install some drivers or something. Desktop folder doesn't have much. Deutsch, English. Ah, Gravis Installer. Well, let's see what this does. Oh, classic environment is no longer supported. That's not a promising sign, folks. This may just not be usable in 2019, despite the fact that it has 
a USB connection on the end, there just may not be any driver support for this anymore on any computer anywhere, unless it's a 20 year old computer. I'm thinking we're probably at a dead end here, but I'm looking at this readme anyway, just to see what it says. And it mentions a bunch of proprietary software that records your inputs and converts them to keyboard inputs, which doesn't help me at all for playing games on OpenEMU. So let's eject this disc. I figure what the heck, let's give this one more try. Let's just load up a game and see if it just recognizes the inputs even without me configuring anything. I'm hitting every button on the controller here. It's not doing anything. It's not starting. It's not booting up. It's not going to do a fiddle dee darn thing. So let's go back to those preferences again. Now that we actually got a game running, let's select it and let's try to map it one more time. Up, down, left, nothing. That's a bust. So don't buy this expecting you can use it in 2019. I'm Mr. Mega Man fan, and as always, thanks for watching.